Hi guys, welcome back to the channel for what is hopefully going to be a really quick yet really helpful Photoshop tutorial for you. I'm going to look at how you can cut photos or subjects, sorry, out of photos. And this could be players, it could be people in a family photo, it could be a product if you're doing product photography. It could be a load of different things. As always, I'm going to use sport as the example for me. So I've got three different football photos I'm going to do this on. And when I'm talking about cutting out, I'm talking about just taking a player out of that scene in these instances. So we've got one against the container here for a, for a kit shoot. We've got uh, a footballer here and a footballer there. So three very different um, photos in terms of the light and the contrast on each. Now, traditionally, when you're cutting out a photo in Photoshop or cutting out a subject of a photo, you'd use this pen tool. And if I just hover on it, it'll actually give you a little example there in the animation of how this works and you plot your points and you can do little curves to really go around an outline. Now, this is a really accurate way of doing it, but it's really quite painstaking as well. Um, so what we've got in the latest version of Photoshop actually is a new automated way of doing this. Um, I was really skeptical when I first saw this advertised. It was a good few months ago. I think, I think this was added to the latest version of Photoshop early this year. I was really skeptical how this would work. Um, but actually it works really well indeed. So um, we're not going to use the pen tool just yet. There's a magic wand tool as well, which you may traditionally use, especially if you're using kind of green screen um, photos or um, maybe in a light box for product photography. The magic wand tool works really well. But as soon as you introduce any additional texture, like on this photo here, so this is um, kind of a bit of an industrial look against the shipping container that I took, the magic wand tool can't really hack it. You'll see the little crawling ants have left a lot of detail in this image and it's just not cut around the outline of the player here at all. So let's just deselect all that. And so what we're gonna do is if you go up to select and on the select menu, click subject. Sometimes it'll take a few moments and you see that loading bar. But amazingly now using the, the kind of computer learning what Photoshop has got built in, it can recognize what the subject of your photo is and pull it out. So if you're doing, want to cut footballers out or athletes out for um, a poster or a piece of artwork, whatever that may be, it's literally easier than ever to do that. Now, in the simplest form here, you'll see where the magic wand tool couldn't distinguish really, or, or did distinguish actually between those textures on the shipping container behind the guy. Um, the selecting the, the subject has really straight away recognized that he is the subject of the photo and it has pulled that out. And if we copy that, so um, Command and C or Control and C if you're on Windows, and we add it and paste it into a new artwork file, you'll see straight away it's a really nice, um, really nice cut out there, and it's literally good to go, so accurate um, and done. So that's how it does on a on a stage simpler photo. Uh, let's go across to this guy, and I'll pick this photo because of the contrast in the kit. And the hedges behind and the hedgerow. So if we just check the guy's left arm and left shoulder here, like there's not much difference between the dark area and the shade of the trees and the hedge and his kit colour. Uh, whereas at the front it's really bright and the, the sun is beaming down on him. So I thought maybe it'd struggle a little bit with this. But again, if we go to select and subject, uh, it takes a few moments just to, <clears throat> to have a go. You see the progress bar come up, but then it's done. And if we lift this out again, so copy it and put it into a new artwork file and we zoom in, you'll see again, it has done a brilliant job of cutting this subject out. Now, um, there are bits you might want to refine a little bit. There's a couple of kind of square bits on his, kind of coming out the inside of his elbow there, his, his arm. Um, you might want to tidy up slightly. Uh, and also on the boot down here, um, you might want to tidy that up before you do the export, sorry, before you cut it out. And how you do that, if we jump back to the image itself, is if we zoom down into that problematic boot. So you can see it, um, what it's done is it's tried to just cut around the grass, but you'll see the metal stud of the boot here, or the cleat if you're, you guys are in the US watching this, and also here and here has been left out. So how we can remedy that, get the trusty old pen tool back in, I'm not gonna do this that accurately, um, but we can draw around um, so there's the first stud, complete the path. And then if we add that to our selection, you'll see it's bent now out to include that. Same with this one here. So 
and you'll see it includes those studs as part of the image. And so that's how you make some very quick corrections to make it work better for you. If you wanted to include the ball in here as well, you could draw around the ball in the usual way um, with the pen tool or one of the um, shape tools, the marquee tools on the left there. And then just to show you in one last photo, so again, there's a bit more going on in this image. While it's a nice shallow depth of field in the image, um, there is a lot of detail in the crowd here. I did wonder how clever it was going to be, whether it'd pick up uh, this guy who's out of focus as a photography point of view, but I, I did wonder whether Photoshop would be clever enough to, to recognise that he's not the subject. Um, and also these fans who are a little bit brighter on the side with, with the white shirt. So um, let's see how it behaves with that. So select and subject. Again, it takes a few moments. <clears throat> and then again, it has done a great job. This one does require a little bit more correcting. Um, so around the head and the shoulders, it's pretty much spot on. Here under the arm, you'll see it's selected a little bit of the blue stripe on the kit, so it hasn't distinguished that that is separate from the dark background behind. So again, with the pen tool, what we need to do is just include that there, draw around it, complete your path, and add it to selection. And you see what it's done is, is remove that. Um, and then what we'll do once we pull this out in a second, we can use a magic wand tool uh, to just get rid of the rest of this under the arm. Might want to do the same around the finger here. Again, the magic wand will probably take care of that in a moment. Um, tiny little triangle between the legs here, likewise, and also um, just between the laces and the back of his calf there as well. The boot is firmly well planted in the ground, so there's no problem with the stud on that one. There is a little bit on this one, you'll see. So the path, if we zoom into this guy's studs on his boots, uh, the path has gone awry a little bit, so we can just draw around these. Uh, again, I'm doing this rough and ready. If you, if you know Photoshop and the pen tool, you'll know there's a ton of cleaner ways to do this. I want to just make sure we've got the cleaner outline of the boot. <clears throat> Complete the path and add to selection. And you see it's now included the boots in that. So really good. Let's copy that new artwork file. <clears throat> and there we go. Paste it in and you'll see again rough and ready, but the studs have come with it. And then these little bits Let's see how this works in terms of cutting this out. So you see the magic wand tool does a great job of starting to take those other little bits that are left in out of the image. So you see on this one, again, that's what we need to do. You just need to be careful and check what you're doing before you click away. You see that blue stripe again has, has caused Photoshop a few issues there. So again, the pen tool will clean this right up for us, literally pretty much draw a straight line for purposes of this around that so the player is a selection on here so when we completed the path and we make our selection this time we want to subtract from selection and there we go it'll cut it out and then we can go and remove that so you see there's a little bit of tidying up still to do um but i've literally done this in 30 seconds so uh, if you weren't already aware of it there's a great tool that you can really start to cut things out of photos really quickly indeed um it saves me a ton of time and with just a few little tweaks, it can do a really clean job. Hope that helps. Please subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. And look out for more photography and tutorial related content in the coming weeks.